you guys. It's Lou. So, um, I'm going to be talking about the Grammys that were last night. Um, yeah, they were a mess, and they were boring, and they were tired. Um, Nikki came as Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga wasn't there, kind of, really. Um, um, Rihanna was flawless, but she sang bad. Um, Adele was was great, but I think she's overhyped, and it was just a mess. Like, I wasn't here for any of the performances. All of them were boring, for the most part. The only ones that were good were, um, Adele's and the Whitney Houston tribute, and that's about it. So, um, yeah, my girl didn't win anything, which surprise, doesn't surprise me. Um, when you're big and pop, the Grammys don't like you, and you're not going to win anything. Madonna has yet to win Grammys. Britney has yet to win any Grammy. Like, seriously, they don't like you if you're too successful in pop because the Grammys doesn't respect that. So I, w- I knew how this night was going to end. Um, what else? Um, Adele won for everything, and congratulations to her. I think she worked really hard. But my only thing is I don't think 21 is, like, album of the year. I Personally, I think Born to Serve was a better album. And I know I'm probably one of the only two people on earth that think this, but um, besides her crazy little monsters. Um, but I think it was, and I have both albums. I think it's a better, it has more versatility. It has, every song is different as opposed to 21, where all the songs are about the same thing. They're all piano ballads. Born to say had like social issues, individuality, you know, and ballads and dance and rock. And it's just like it was much more experimental than twenty one, I think. Um, well well no, I know, but twenty one is more of an album that's more like commercially accepted because people, more people relate to it. So obviously it's gonna win. And um but I just think Born to is a stronger album. And that's just me. But classically, twenty one is an album that's <laughs> like a Grammy favorite, so of course it's gonna win. Um but nonetheless, it was a Delzia, so congrats to her. My my hat goes off to her. She she did good, and um, I just don't like how everyone makes it seem to like she's like Jesus Christ in, in music, you know? Because they're like, oh, she doesn't have to do all this crazy stuff to be a good singer, you know? I'm like, well, no. Like, there's other musicians that do crazy stuff, and they are great singers, you know? So sometimes it's like it's she sings a different genre. And it's different packages for different things. Like, why would she come out in um, an exorcism thing for soul music? It doesn't make sense. So that's just my opinion. Uh, anyway, speaking of exorcism, Nicki Minaj was, like, clearly copying someone, and we all know who she was copying. And it wasn't good. It was, like, a bad Lady Gaga performance with without the talent. Like, seriously? Um the Whitney Houston tribute made me cry, and that's pretty much the only thing that made the Grammys for me. Like, thank God Whitney died, because that's the only thing that made the Grammys worth watching. Rest in peace, Whitney, though. I really, I just, I'm kidding. But, um, seriously, like, Jennifer Hudson did great. She sang better than Adele. So, um, yeah, that was my favorite. Um, besides that, all the performances are really boring. And, um, yeah, I was, I didn't like any of them. No, especially Rihanna. Rihanna's terrible. And Chris Bonds was bad, too. So, um, that's it. I hope 